Hey folks, uh, today I'd like to take a casual peek into my collective mess. <laughs> uh, today it's uh, Sunday afternoon, it's pretty warm outside, so I'm staying cool in here uh, shooting some video of my figures. And uh, I'm just finishing up uh, the video here of the Hobgoblin. And uh, while I was doing that and looking at uh, these figures that I have yet to open, trying to decide which one to do next, and when I realized, just sitting back and looking at uh, this stuff, I've accumulated a, a bit of a mess. <laughs> um, I don't know if you've seen my uh, action figure video collection. I think it was back in March or April. I can't remember when. Uh, you may have seen uh, my closet. Uh, it had a stack of uh, figures on there. And since that time... Uh, I, I I was in the middle of spring cleaning, and since that time, uh, that pile has shrunk and grown, and it's actually in the last month has grown quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the way I shoot my videos, uh, I only have time to actually shoot uh, about every other week, so I tend to shoot uh, videos in batches uh, when I can, and. Uh, I'm going to just show you some of my collection. Uh, it hasn't grown that much, mainly because of uh, I like to shoot videos of every figure I open, and uh, so it, the, the collection hasn't grown that much. Uh, probably not too much since the last video in March. So, uh, so let me just show you real quick here. This here, here is the the movie and uh, cartoon. Uh, figure shelf you could say from movies television and uh, this one hasn't grown uh, that much at all other than the layer of dust that's accumulated <laughs> I can see some gears figures up here Star Trek uh, movie masters there and some heroes uh, the Burger King Iron Man's back there and uh, Iron Monger's sitting back there and then Gordon the cave troll there on uh, Here's some uh, works of art from the Munchkins. Uh, I know that uh, Munchkin number one, uh, she's camera shy, so you probably never see her on the any of my videos, but uh, she's quite the manga girl, and uh, she uh, has done uh, very well uh, uh, with, the, with the drawings there. I, I, I'm a proud dad, what, what can I say? <laughs> and uh, this is my son's work of art there, Munchkin number two. And, uh, oh, I didn't show you this. Uh, this is just my uh, Runebound collection. I'm a Runebound uh, player. And an Arkham Horror player as well. On there. Over here is my 4-inch collection. Uh, this one uh, has grown a lot smaller than the rest of the collection. Mainly because I don't have too many 4-inch uh, figures. And uh, I think this has moved around a little bit since I did some contest entries. Uh, a few weeks back, some more four inch on there. Here's uh, my Mag Warrior collection. There, down here's the G.I. Joe, uh, Rise of Cobra, and a Star Wars in the corner. There, um, this one I need to get cracking on because I have quite a few Rise of Cobra figures and uh, they're clearancing out the Rise of Cobra line and to make room for the Pursuit of Cobra. So I need to get cracking on those. That's my Zevos uh, figures there. And just some CDs and miscellaneous stuff there. Here are the prizes from the contest. Uh, if you're a prize winner in heaven, uh, contacted me. Uh, send me a private email message with your list. Uh, I think there's one more week, uh, if I don't hear from you, I'm going to have to bump up the list and allow other uh, subscribers an opportunity at the prize. So, uh, get a hold of me if you're a winner. Uh, here's my uh, oddball league, I'd like to say. Uh, just uh, figures that are just I think are really out there. and I'm, 
it's really cool. Uh, and the leader of my oddball league is the Killer Moth, my favorite figure out of the entire DC line. Some of these figures are just placeholders, really, actually. Uh, just to, to fill up some space until I can fill it out more. I, like Major Force, uh, Silver Banshee, and Icicle, and probably Doctor Impossible are the placeholders so far. In there. There's some more DC Universe classics. There's a JSA from here, over here. And, um, some more DC Universe classics and uh, Public Enemies figures. And some more here. And then down below I got uh, my G.I. Joe Sigma 6 figures there. Uh, a lot of them still in the garage. Uh, I was slowly trying to get uh, uh, videos of those guys. Now those are the displayed figures. That, and uh, if you've seen some of my previous videos, I have some more out in the hallway, like uh, the Street Fighter and the uh, Transformers and, uh, and Zoids. But on to my collective mess, which <laughs> I just, uh, after sitting... Just looking at it, I didn't didn't sink in the, until uh, just now that I got to clean this up. <laughs> That's a, this is pretty much stuff I need to open, <laughs> get shoot video of. I really just need to clean this up. Actually, um, a lot of these figures, uh, especially at the bottom layer here, are the Lord of the Rings figures, and they were previously up at the top of the shelf. I had to pull them down because I was starting to do shoot videos of those and. I wanted to at least inventory and prioritize which ones I need to shoot. And so the, the entire bottom layer is just nothing but uh, Lord of the Rings figures here. Uh, but I've got, uh, I just got into the Halo figures on there. Uh, That's uh, Munchkin number one's uh, work of art in chalk there. <laughs> and uh, th these are uh, DC Universe Classics figures. I found some on clearance here and this is Wave 12 there. I just got back into Iron Man, so I'm going to do some Iron Man videos. Uh, slowly building a Marvel Legends collection. Uh, I, I never collected it when it first came out, but I'm catching up. So I pulled this from uh, the garage. It's my Zevos collection. Uh, hopefully you can uh, see I, there's quite a few more in there. That's my Spongebob collection. Yeah, I'm a Spongebob nut. So. There's the Rise of Cobra figures down there. Uh, I have the Secret Wars uh, on here, but I don't want to shoot any video of it until I get the entire set. And I'm really only missing one more, and that's the Doom uh, slash Absorbing Man. Uh, if anybody uh, can find one for me, I'll do a trade with you. Uh, otherwise, I may have to break down and pay the 20 some odd dollars that it's going for online. So. There's a Street Fighter, more Street Fighter, some two box sets of the uh, DC Universe Classics, uh, nice finds, uh, lucky finds really. And got some figures here, I haven't done any Star Wars or Transformers, I, I'm, there's a lot of videos of those already out there, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. Um, if, you, if you think I should, go ahead and uh, uh, send a comment or something. And I uh, got some DC Universe Classics and, uh, of course, Marvel Legends, more Marvel Legends there. And some uh, Marvel, other stuff Marvel there. Yeah, but this is my collective mess. Uh, and, I, and I wanted to shoot this uh, uh, just, to, I guess, to embarrass myself, really. And, but uh, also uh, capture some video of what it looked like before I started doing... Um, not my spring cleaning, but my summer clean. So, but yeah, this is a casual peek into my collective mess. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.